Hey, you doing here? Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna try on the easy to boot setup here. I'm gonna try Hiram's Boot CD 15.2, and I'm gonna try to if it'll do it. I'll uh, I'm gonna boot into Win uh, Mini XP and then uh, get in here. Okay. Oh, so it did, did that on that uh, Reactor OS. I tried out. It's a binary compatible to Windows operating system um, so you get this is actually I thought these were menus from the reactivist but these are menus from easy to boot so they go by real fast if you don't do anything they'll just go right on through but if I hit the uh, I just use my arrow keys that's what I usually do <coughs> with all the bootable you know stuff and that'll get it to pause and then you can select read it and select something because it goes by too fast for me to read it so I'm gonna hit no to that and uh, anyway once I if I get in there let's go ahead and try um, yeah okay here's my me boot menu and I want to go Howard's boot CD if you've never seen it has quite a bit of different tools in it uh, but a mini XP is a live X, X Windows XP system and you it has a bunch of stuff in it a bunch of tools and uh, also, I might be. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is, I'll go ahead and go in there, see if it'll boot up <coughs> um, on this motherboard. I think I've done it before on this motherboard. I can't remember really, but uh, so far so good. And uh, there's a bunch of tools that Hiron has put on there, and uh, they're pretty useful. And the, uh, the thing is, it's fairly old now, three or four years old or something. They have, you know, ever since XP quit being being a thing, you know, uh, <coughs> being updated, um, it, um, they haven't made a new one. Well, I don't think that that's Windows 7 can be booted this way, so that's why it didn't done it. I think I read that on their website, but, uh, it comes with, uh, it's a basic, it's just a live system, like a Linux live system, basically, and, uh, you can, uh, if it doesn't do it automatically, you can set up a network. Uh, wired or wireless, it'll do wireless too. And uh, when it gets through booting, if it works okay, over here on the right bottom, it will have the Hiron's Boot CD menu. Sometimes it takes a bit for it to come in. Sometimes it never does. It didn't. Some, something just happens, and sometimes then if that happens, sometimes if you reboot it next time, it'll work. But uh, what I'm really wanting to try to do is on this SD card. It has. I have a bunch of my own files on there, along with the easy to boot setup for all the different. I've got three Windows 7 install ISOs. I got a Fedora 24 Linux, uh, React OS, which wouldn't boot, so I'm going to take it off, and a few other things. And this is a Windows 7 system I'm booted up to. Uh, I mean, that's what's on the hard drive, and. Uh, <coughs> It uh, is back to the viruses, and I've been scanning it with all different rescue ISOs. I'm kind of running out of them. So I want to uh, see if maybe one of these uh, online virus scanners might work in here or something. <coughs> First, I'll have to see. Some of the stuff is missing, and it hasn't come up yet. So what is that icon for? Safely remove hardware. So that's probably my SD card. Let's go into the Windows Explorer and see. Yeah, 32 gigabyte SD. There we go. So it mounted that just fine. It's a FAT32. I figured it would. But uh, so my when my downloads here, I have uh, <coughs> several, you know, executable files, different tools and stuff. That's the easy to boot. Um, system right there the zip in a zip file or in perp USB which is what I'm uh, where I discovered that's who makes it and that's where this that web is where I discovered easy to boot but uh, let's see virus yeah there's some on here for preventing and recovering from uh, crypto ransomware and stuff like that and this one's not like that it just kept coming up with Trojans and stuff on it and different malware and uh, the last scan, it actually didn't, the only thing it showed uh, that it said they thought it was a problem was with Bitdefender, it was the last one I used, Rescue ISO, whoops, 
and it uh, only thing it squawked was uh, some APK files that I had backed up for my Android phones. I went and just deleted them just to be so sure because I don't know really where my problems came from for sure. Probably from some stuff I had downloaded and saved over the years and <coughs> put on there because it ended up on all three of my Windows 7 systems. And uh, but I don't know which ones. I mean, well. Actually, Sardu and a couple others showed up to have Trojans in them, but I've used them for years and never had any trouble. So I think those are false positives, and there's actually a couple of mentions of that kind of thing on the Sardu website and stuff. So, but I got to thinking, well, you know, maybe something got on my one of my systems and then spread to these files. They can do that sometimes, you know. So um, I just started deleting. After a while, at first I ignored the ones that I thought were false positives, and then kept finding more and more Trojans and each time I would scan with a different rescue disc I'd find more different even different ones and more different ones from the ones I'd already deleted so I found out so I'm gonna have to delete everything that looks like anything bad you know so let's see what I have in here 360 I think that's a full install 360 security outfit I forgot exactly what it is I just Got it the other day. What's this? Trend Micro Rescue. Oh, that's just from. See, I also save web pages with instructions and stuff, and and uh, like MD5 sums and stuff. So, uh, and antivirus links and stuff like that. F Secure Online Scanner. There's one. I've already ran F Secure Rescue this, so I don't think I'll do that one. Immunet Setup. That's probably just an install. Uh, made, uh, made a defender client. <coughs> Let's see. Rescue disk execute. I think that's. I think if I remember right, that's Bit Defender. Trend Micro. Oh, it's Trend Micro. Okay, I always get those two mixed up because their icons and colors are so similar. That might be one of those I was wanting to run a lot. It might be alive. Let's see. Spybot. Anti Beacon. Well, that's to keep uh, Windows 7 and on up from uh, rip from. Uh, tracking you and sending stuff back to Microsoft. I was going to try that, but uh, no point in worrying about that right now. I'm more worried about the viruses and stuff. And see, yeah, all those folders up there that says files on the end, that's to do with those are the files that come along with the HTML files and web pages. Made a Defender client. Oops, what? Uh, let's see. Rescue disk. Uh, beacon... I don't know why I have three of those 360s, <coughs> to be honest. I don't remember now. But um, some of them I downloaded quite a while back. So, you know, few, not quite a while, just a few months ago. And some of them were just the other day. So I'm going to see what Meta Defender is, I think. See if it'll even run. A lot of times, though, when you have a newer file like this, it won't run on higher ends because it. See, it says it's not a valid 32 Win32 application. Hmm, could be 64 bit for all I know. So it ain't not going to run anyway. Uh, but a lot of times there's missing deal files in here, things that uh, for whatever reason Hiron didn't or couldn't put on, on his rescue disk. So, uh, or like dot and things that need .NET framework, I don't think many, any or many of them will run. I don't think any of that's actually on here. Immunet. I've got 2 gig of RAM on this system, so it's an AMD um, two dual core with 2 gig of RAM. Not real hefty, but at least it's okay. You know, Mini XP only needs like 256 megabyte of RAM to run. It probably tells you in here somewhere what it's using. Application failed because there so and so deals not found. So I don't imagine any of that will run. I don't really want to just completely install something. That will really end up being like you no know, telling how much. It This is all running live, so it's all going to be using up the memory, everything you've run. So um, if secure online scanner, well, I could not complete operation. Okay, I'll just try them. There we go, Immunet Downloader. Oh, that's just a downloader. So that'll just download the full application, but I won't interrupt it right now, I guess. I'll wait. It's going to be temp. <coughs> <coughs> 
can't remember for sure. It could be the uh, another live scanner. Might be one of the kind of thing I'm wanting to try. But uh, so, oh, download installer download failed. Okay, so I don't have network connection. That'd be the other problem. Let's see. I may not be able to get a network connection without uh, rebooting this because it looks like it didn't finish loading. Sometimes it. I don't think it's got anything to do with you know the system that it's on when it does that. I think it's wireless network setup. Well, I don't have a wireless code on here. Yeah. Unable to browse the network. Okay. So. What I'm going to do then is reboot it. And uh, see if it'll work right next this time. Actually, I think I'll shut down and then turn it back on. And uh, we'll see. Now, I guess I'll stop this video and come back in a minute when I get it going again. <laughs> 